Chris here with SirenNet Television, about to head down and join the guys at Star Cars who are working on an all new SUV, happens to be a Chevy Tahoe. So let's take the trip down, take a look at what they're up to. The plan is to take a vehicle and make it the center stage attention grabbing display piece for a wonderful organization, the SPCA the Society for the Prevention of Cruelty to Animals. And with all of the lighting that's going to be going into this, well, there's no way that you are going to miss it. And that's the whole point, is making a showpiece, bringing everybody's attention to it, to this organization, and all the great things that they contribute toward. So with this, the talents of Star Cars were called upon to do what no one else could. And something else we'd like to mention is the vehicle is seeing new products, reused products, and things from very charitable donations. So we'll give you a look now at everything it's going to become. As the planning and preparations are underway, Star Cars going over the Tahoe and what it's going to consist of, we'll give you a look now at a few of the parts and pieces that are going to go into it. So taking advantage of some reused siren and lighting components, as well as some goodies yet to be seen in the boxes here, it's also going to introduce some new products from Code 3, Sound Off, creating a two-toning package with the Tahoe that's going to consist of a red and amber. So as this goes underway, you see all these parts and pieces as well as some other neat custom touches with products go into this all the skill of star cars very well tested with this upfit the uh, end powers are going to go behind the grill behind the grill yes perfect there will be four in the front of the grill obviously you're going to make it perfectly symmetrical right? <laughs> oh, <yes. laughs> I trust you guys, believe me. <laughs> to a fault, they'll be perfectly symmetrical. <laughs> Dual color. Here and here. And here and here. Okay. And I ordered those stud mount, obviously. I show you that. Um, I think I'd like this right here. Okay. Uh, it's just below the bow tie? Yes. Okay. And this is uh, for battery jumper connection, uh, connects to the starter battery, mm -hmm. and just hangs down in here, anywhere. It could even hang down under here, okay. as long as I can grab it. Do you want um, us to build a bracket and bolt it that way, so it's stationary and it doesn't dangle and That would be nice. Okay. Yeah. And what I ordinarily do when I did on my previous vehicle, um, I put a turn signal indicator on the front being that we're wiring, sending the wiring up here anyway. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what kind of a light we would use. I have a proposal. You tell me what you think. This is the light I was telling you about, Chris, from uh, Axix Tech. Oh, okay. Something on the order of that. Okay. It looks like it fits. Maybe it depends. You have to take the mirror apart. I don't know what's back there. Yeah. So there is the mirror beam, turn signal, and code yeah, three. M one eighty. M one eighty underneath. Okay. Yeah. You can leave it. Uh, oh, okay. Close. Um. I'm gonna put a four pack red here and a four pack red here. I already checked, there's plenty of room under there. On either side of the license plate, there's going to be one of uh, Code 3's newest products called the Multicolor Triple Stack. That's going to be nice. Wow. I had a cop stop me once and uh, he said, God, your car looks like a spaceship. <laughs> <laughs> And I said, really? Is it that bad? He goes, it's that bad. And you can sync those two with the two license plate lights. Cause the two microns? Yeah. Okay. I have, they haven't come in yet, but um, I have amber red T-ions. Um, and here's a picture of the way the, see the T-ions were not available when I mm -hmm. did mine.
Lights, lights, lots of lights. Travis working away hard here on the front end, getting everything mounted and buttoned up. Guys working away on the interior. And as you can see, we've had some great changes coming through here. So we got a Phoenix light bar up on the overhead, working away on the vehicle's rear view mirrors, preparations on the inside for the wiring system, power distribution, and all the other goodies that are getting thrown into this. Give you a look now at the guys working this in the fine skills of star cars. As far as flash patterns go, is this something that you've preset or is that something you do afterward with all your pigtails out here and exposed? So it's, it kind of just depends on the situation. Uh, a lot of the light bars and under spoiler lighting, the harness that you get has everything in it already. So I can do that at any point. Fresh day here at Star Cars, Hayden and Austin working away on the Tahoe, and I'm just over here admiring Travis's handiwork on the front bumper from last time. So before this goes back on, we get to see what is never going to be shown again. All his hours put into the bracketry and fit and finish with the wiring harnesses here. So powers, ground, synchronizations, pattern changing has all been done. Only thing that's worth to do is put some quick connects on the end and get this remounted. I don't even know if amazing best explains Hayden's work that's gone into the rear view mirrors on Jerry's Suburban. What was once a factory mirror housing has far evolved into something greater. Dressed up with a wheel and mirror beam package housing up top with a surface mount ion. So finely tied in is an Axitec light head and this is an amber that works as a forward facing turn signal enhancement. Down under from code three is their M180. And just the bracket alone took so much fine work and tuning. And just look at this thing itself. Absolutely amazing. I can't wait to see it turned on. Hayden, wiring's looking on point on the passenger side from the driver's side. So what's going on here? Yeah, so on this side, we're starting to put everything together. Um, as you can see, we have some of the mirror beam harnesses. We have a ground harness here. Um, all the turn signal harness is going to go into a wire there. Um, and then we also have a couple pattern change wires that are located behind the door panel in case in the future they wanted to change um, nice. the patterns. And then, uh, yeah, so just creating a harness and going to run it through the door to the center console. Okay. This one was a little bit more difficult than some being is that there's probably about four different elements in one small, you know, piece there. So it took a little bit of time to get it figured out, but we're just on the home stretch on and everything routed through. Awesome. And then whiteboard right next to you. So it looks yes. like you got a nice handy map for everything. So yes. awesome. Well, I'll let you get back to it. So perfect. Thank you. Stuff's looking really sharp back here. What's the game plan for today, Austin? Pretty much, I'm going to get all the wire. Uh, finish being ran across the back of the hatch. Um, I've got trim lights here. These wires are for a Phoenix 800 bar that'll mount to these brackets. Okay. Uh, I still have to extend the rest of these lights from the hatch across and then down inside the vehicle. I have to get these ones from the bumper up and inside the vehicle, and then I can start putting the trim trim back in. So. Hopefully by the end of the day, I'll have at least my wires in the vehicle. With a few more days of the process of the Tahoe, the guy's work is ringing through. It's starting to look whole again. Travis's fine work on the front end, put back together, and all the electronics that Austin's been working on in the back, just about completed.
Taking the place of the factory console is a fixture from Troy designed just for the Tahoe, starting with a bolt-in floor plate and the console contoured to the dash to hold the radios and control head. Another day here at the shop and the boys got the Tahoe going together outstandingly. The interior has been snapped back together and while they're on the other side of the shop, gives me a chance to get in here and take a look at what's going to be hidden away under the mid seat. But this is all of the power distribution and what Austin's been working hard away on for getting all the electronics so the lighting tied into here. So we got their main DNR electronics board here some relays and look at this wiring everything labeled up so everything's really going to be clean and straightforward if you ever need to diagnose or make changes we'll go over here this is the input module for the phoenix 4200 dl so yes that is what is going to control this vehicle and motorola radio so that is part of it and the rest well that's going to be up in that troy console well here it is an absolute sensation the Tahoe has become. The SPCA is one lucky group to be having such a stylish vehicle. With all the lighting, everything is going to work out just wonderful when it comes to making this the center focus. So the skills of the guys at Star Cars and all the wonderful products they've put into, again, the donations, the reused, and the new. So let's give you a look now as Austin goes through the controls so we can highlight everything going on here. Based on the customer's specified switching control, on the front end, we have the Whelan Engineering M4 light heads mounted in with their Tahoe-specific brackets. The front grille is sound off signals, N-Force and M-Power light head combination. And with another switch, we can tie in the wigwags. This is a service package Tahoe, so that is a plug and play module from sound off signal. It also activates the taillight flasher. Moving upwards onto the Tahoe, in the front of the hood, we have the M-Powers in white flashing away with the clip-on brackets. It's a really nice product to see there. And on the inside, from Phoenix, the 2X series dash lights, and those are using 40-degree optics. Got to be proud of Hayden with the rear view mirrors. The wheel and mirror beam package with the surface mount ion and the polycarbonate overlay. Down low, we have the M180s, amber to the front, red to the rear. Those do have the independent control of the spotlight function, so it's a nice way to give a alley to the driver and the passenger side. And then, so finely placed into the mirror here, it looks like it should have come from Chevy right this way, the AxiTech tied into the turn signal. The client's using a Phoenix Fusion 60-inch dual-color light bar, flashing away in a vibrant amber and white display, mixing in a combination of 180-degree and 40-degree optics, so the best of both worlds. It has independent control, so it can flash in amber only. And, with the press of another button, front scene lighting. So a nice way to offer all three functions, that amber and white, amber only, and front flood. Red and amber for the dual color on the back of the bar. The flip of a switch, we can disengage red for amber only display. When the time comes, the flip of a switch, we can have a wonderfully healthy overriding of scene lighting, tying into the grill, to the hood, the fusion lights in the corners of the dash, and the whole front section of the fusion overhead light bar. On the driver door, and this is the only one that has it, Code 3 and one of their HB 4-pack light heads. So this nice little guy is a grommet mount, fits perfectly into the side of the door panel. For a nice display of mid-level lighting, the customer is elected to use the Phoenix Fusion 400 here in dual color with the 40 degree optics, a nice way to make it more potent through the factory tint, and in the back, the Phoenix 200 in the single color. Such enthusiasm has been put into the lighting package on the back of the Tahoe. It is a lot of lighting to say the least, but it all works together. 
This is how it can be displayed in its most potent form, but it has independent control, so this can be subdued down. So if you want to run the overhead lighting, you can do that independently. So here we have the Phoenix 800 light stick firing away in dual color red and amber with 40 degree and 180 degree optics it can also be changed over for an amber only display so the vehicle is a complete two-tone but it can be switched over to amber and amber only this stick here also allows the benefit and easy control of directional so left right and center out As Austin ties in, another switch for the back of the Tahoe will give you a look now at another section of the lighting and how it can be displayed independently. So we'll give you a look up here starting with the pillars in a combination of wheel and engineering and sound off signal. So this package here is using the microns in single colors and the flash patterns have been set to the customer's preference. Up top, this is the combination of the M powers and the bracketry that's specific for this application. So this bolts on to the basin of the spoiler and tying in and sync together very, very nicely, the M powers have a great way to light up directionally to the rear and rounding out to the side, so following the natural curvature of the spoiler. As we move downward and get that part of the lighting package turned off, we'll go more into the focused midsection. So here, flashing away, license plate mount bracket with the microns, and onto the hatch handle is the Whelan T-Series. So a nice way to take two Whelan Engineering light heads, set the patterns, and accomplish a synchronization. And that's no easy task. So when Austin had this whole thing disassembled, these lights and their wires and their synchronization, that is all hidden away on the inside, as well as control and wiring for the rest of the lights. The last of the independently controlled rear lighting is the Whelan T-Series in the red-amber split. Synchronization has been done behind the rear bumper panel on the driver's side and passenger side. And center mounted on the bottom of the trailer hitch, we have sound off signals dual color intersector. It's the same style you'd conventionally see mounted on your vehicle's rear view mirror, but nonetheless works absolutely perfect centered up right down there. When you need to maximize the rear lighting package of the Tahoe, position two of the control panel will activate everything you see here. Down low, we have the sound off signal N-Force lights and a single wheel and M power over on the passenger side of the tow package thinking, hmm, works really nice there, surface mounts and tucks in, couldn't do one on the driver side of it because that is where the pin and plug-in is for the trailer hitch. Cruising upward into the center section, we have the Code 3 M180 triple stacks in that red and amber split color. Really nice synchronization and pattern selection by the customer. Code 3's HB4 pack, so that same red light that we had in the driver door, another set of them done here. Amber in the center, down in the center there, so a really neat way to see this package with its accompanying reds on the outside. On the outer edges of the hatch, we have sound off signals, tricolor M power fascias, and those have been put on with the edge clip bracket. So with the white housing on those, looks absolutely perfect on the big white hatch. On the inside, so some nice tucked away lighting here, Whelan Dominator Pluses. So a pair of the four modules, a nice customer selected flash pattern and synchronization. So as this sits, it is a lot of lighting, don't get me wrong, but with all the independent control and the selection of synchronization, it's a really great way to take this vehicle from the top, the middle, to the bottom and give it that oh so potent vibrant warning package that it needs. Through the separate trigger wires in the sound off M power fascias and the Code 3 triple stacks, when the Tahoe is shifted into reverse, a nice white light enhancement. Override here and override into the center of the Code 3 M180 triple stacks. When the rear warning package is lost to the hatch going up, there is a very healthy lighting subsidization on the bottom here the dual color Phoenix Fusion 800, the 40 degree optics, and those pair up with the amber cannons into the side. So directional to the rear, and this can be switched to display amber only. 
and it does have the directional function of left, right, and center out to make up for the other 800 lost to the risen hatch. Wired to come on with the factory dome lights, we have Whelan Engineering's Florent series. One nicely mounted here onto the back of the Fusion 800, so the brackets that Star Cars has made and tied in, and another one is tied up here onto the headliner. So with the hatch open, plenty of rear lighting onto the ground, plenty of lighting into the rear cargo area. When the Tahoe makes its way home, the customer is going to be in installing a DNR cargo box. So this is the substructure that the boys of Star Car have installed. Tucked away behind it is the power inverter, and this ties into the 110 outlet on the console. Hours dedicated by Austin into the console and a few Skype sessions later, this is what it's turned out to be. Why don't you go ahead and give me a rundown of everything you've put into this and all the switching, Austin, so I don't goof up anything. Yeah, um, I guess right now would be a good time. Uh, since the car's off, we did introduce this button here, uh, ignition battery. When this button is turned on, it'll actually power up the vehicle, uh, run it off of the battery versus the ignition trigger like everything else is. Uh, so basically you can have everything on without the key in or with the car running. Um, yeah, that's that, it was a nice little feature he added there. With that being said, uh, we also did add a nighttime switch uh, so that when this button has been activated, the Phoenix controller uh, will go from a very intense bright green to a lower level light uh, for nighttime. Turn that back on. We've also taken the factory uh, PowerPoint and uh, media plugs out of the half seat that used to be where the console is now and we've put them back on the faceplate along with the inverter display panel. We have also added uh, aftermarket USB charging ports here and one on the back of the console for any passengers that he uh, may have in the future along with some additional power points next to that. And then Austin, you were telling me there's some really nice labels coming the customer's gonna put on. What's on here is just for temporary. With all those other great switches that you've added in, the control head from Phoenix, this is the 4200 data link, this is what all the warning has been tied into, right? That is correct, yes. So when we're tying up the progressive switch, everything here is going to color coordinate, showing what's been activated and what is yet to be come to life. So traffic advisor function here, indicator follows suit, so the Fusion 800s, customer always knows what they're doing. Through countless hours, the boys of Star Cars, Austin, Hayden, Travis, and Danny, let's not forget about Doug and Ted and Dawson as well, have taken a stock trim Tahoe and turn it into the wow factor that you see here. This is something that only these guys can do when it comes to such a clean, sophisticated package. I'm Chris. Thanks for joining us on Siren Net Television.